What up everybody, it's your boy with the blast aka Kev back to another reaction. Today we are doing home free sea shanty medley. Uh so I've gotten quite a few requests to do this. Uh also first off, sorry to all the acapella fans, PTX Home Free and Voice Play. Uh then the main three I've been checking out. I've been doing a lot of rap reactions. It just so happens that a lot of people I follow and like and listen to and rap are just all dropping songs right now for some reason. Um, but I'm trying to balance it out a little bit, uh, and we're definitely going to be getting to more acapella reactions. Um, so we're going to start with this one, and then obviously I got more of all three of those people coming up. And also, on a past video, I did mess up, uh, I mixed up Jeff and Tim. So Jeff Castellucci, or however you say his last name, and then Tim, I don't know, Faust, uh, starts with an F. Still working on all the names of everybody other than PTX, but I got them mixed up. That's my bad, no disrespect to them, guys. Um, they're both super talented and your boy Sometimes they just fry my brain. I just can't think and I don't know what happens um, So yeah, we're gonna check this out and uh, get into it. Boom there once I'm guessing there's gonna be pirate songs to see, And the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder about it down below Ooh, I like the guitar boy boys Making a beat Soon may the mm. wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her Okay, I want to get on a ship Someone put me on the ship I'm ready Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done we'll take our leave and go These dudes, these acapella dudes that do these lows, I mean, they get so low sometimes. It sounds like, it's not even, um, it sounds like something that doesn't even register on, like, the musical staff or whatever it's called, keys or something. Like, it just sounds like computer noise almost. It gets so low. Like, it's just absurd. <laughs> Ooh, I know this one. With a drunken sailor, what do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning, put him in the brig until yeah, I know he's this sober. One. Put him in the brig until he's sober. Put him in the brig until he's sober. It's catchy, a beat. I like this. Way hey, up she rises, way hey, up she rises, way hey, up she rises. Her light Did he make a noise with that? Oh, the wind was oh, new one. The sea ran I'm gonna change shirts. Oh, that is the drum guy down there doing cool stuff. Okay. I haven't heard this one. The thing is about the drum guy, once again, all these drum people and all these freaking uh, acapella bands, the drum sounds so good, I forgot a person was making it and it wasn't like sampled or a VSL file or something. Or not VSL file, but MIDI file. I don't know, something like that. Um... This the drums just sound so good and clear and like that's literally exactly what they sound like. I mean like Oliver, Johnny, uh, he even did a little roll with the, the snare. I mean like come on bro. Come on. Going to conquer Australia. I don't know, bro. Them kangaroos. They're going to be knocking you out, dog. Have y'all seen buff kangaroos, dude? Like, they be out there, like, flexing on you and shit. I don't know. You think you could beat a kangaroo in a fight? You know what? How tall is a kangaroo? I wonder if I could beat a kangaroo in a fight. How tall is a kangaroo? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say for me personally, three to four foot kangaroo... I could probably handle eight foot kangaroo. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna handle. It's probably not gonna be a thing. He's probably gonna kick the shit out of me. Look at this man. <laughs> this man is yoked. He's got more veins than me. Like, dude, come on. If that ain't Photoshop, that's crazy. 
yeah, I don't know. Invading Australia, not the and dude, have y'all seen the snake spiders? I mean, come on. I know y'all seen the memes. Australia ain't the place I want to go invade. Is that guy supposed to be a gypsy or something? And he ain't even dressed up. Mm. One thing I love about all these, like, I guess, pirate songs or sea songs or whatever, um, first off, they remind me of, like, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, or whichever one had the boat in it. Well, there's a couple with the boats. One, The first major one that had the boat. I don't know if it was three or four, Black Flag, or what it was. Um... But it reminds me of sailing the ships in Assassin's Creed, which is fun, and they just all like chant singing and stuff. Second off, I like how these songs are structured because it's like usually one person singing something, but then they all come in and like a chant for like a couple words or something, and then it goes back, and it's a really good, uh, it's a really good like flow. Keeps it interesting. Like that? Fire. Mexico. I think I'd rather go there in Australia. Oh, hold up though. Do you hear drum dude? I just, it just registered. No, it's making some kind of click sound. Sounds like them little hand clicker things you used to get in school. What is that? Is that a real ship? Let's check it out. Santiana ship. The long, uh, that ain't it. Santiana. Uh oh. Shanty Man and Shanty Collector wrote the Santiana. Oh, that must be a, a song. Santiana, Santiana, Santiano, Santiano. A variation C Shanty. From the Mexican general Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. Uh, I probably said that wrong. Sorry. Uh, Alright, so maybe somewhat real ish so based on some mexican general dude so i mean that's cool if y'all don't know my brain just works in 40 different ways and i love googling stuff and finding like little random facts out so like if i could beat up a kangaroo or not so uh, i don't know take it or leave it it's the mountain dew baby Yes, he is a pirate. Now that he's got the sword, he does look like a pirate. That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. Um, I only knew one song in there of the whole thing, which was the second song. Um, and I don't even know where I heard it from, to be honest. Probably Pirates of the Caribbean or Assassin's Creed, something like that. Um, oh, man, as I can tell, I've been on a Chris DiStefano kick lately. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was cool. They definitely did their thing. The Gambler, what is this? Ooh, this got a lot of views. What that is, though, because that looks interesting. Um, alright, well, I don't know what else to say, that was dope, um, they did their thing, it was, uh, I like the flow of basically all the songs, they kind of had a similar structure, which I guess is just like a, a pirate song type structure, which is somebody saying, so they all chant something, and then it goes back then, and I like it, it makes it, it's, it's, uh, different enough to make it flow well, um, I will say, looking back on, like, all, f I think it was five songs they did, maybe, they all kind of blend together, which once again, I'm getting, it's a theme structure that makes sense that they would all sound like that. Um, so it's not really a bad thing, but um, yeah, it kind of almost seemed like one long song that just had different, it was basically like different verses almost of like a similar song. 
Um, but not necessarily a bad thing because obviously they're on a theme here with the sea shanty thing. Um, all right, I'm just talking about nonsense, so yeah, I'm going to get off here. But uh, let me know what y'all thought. Let me know if you should check out. See y'all every day at 3 p.m. CST for a new reaction. Peace, love, happiness, and good vibes. See y'all next time.